Uh, this is Reverend Essie, and I'm coming from my site, as you can see up here, RevEssie.com. And I just posted something that I'd like to share on YouTube. and says, what's going on? What's really going on in Dallas? And I wrote, as unusual as it may seem, true Christians who have studied the Bible will know that this is the work of the enemy. All of these years, he's been craftily sitting behind the scenes watching these mega pastors make money, entertain, so to speak, and gain recognition from people all around the world. What we didn't realize is that everything that they did wrong during that time of observation from Satan, he was writing it down, studying them. As a content creator and having a channel on YouTube, I've noticed something that I don't like to bring up because some people might get aggravated or upset at me about it. There are ministers with big names who are repeating words, sentences, or phrases that us little people mention while we're preaching on Sundays or what have you as we try to lead people to the Lord. They may not want to admit it, but they're doing it. I myself have positive proof that these things that I preached on Sundays were used by mega pastors and sometimes word for word. You would think that they would email you or text you and give you kudos for sharing a good word and maybe ask if they could use your content, but no, they just use it. I believe that they do that because they don't want to either give anyone else credit because it was a good idea or their name is so high up now that they don't want to take responsibility in case the person that they're repeating may not add up to their standards or may have flaws. Speaking of flaws, anytime you have to use someone else's material, not as teaching, not as a teaching additive, but making it look like it was your word, you've lost your relationship with the Lord. Now I have to add in a disclaimer, this is not everybody, okay? Just because you see a picture doesn't mean it's those three and it's not everybody. Somewhere along the line, you need to get back into the Word and have the Holy Spirit give you messages straight from God's throne. I wonder how many of these mega pastors got rich by using someone else's material. And just think, the sheep continue to follow them. Essie, thanks for listening. And check out my site at revessie.com.